Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, I'm going to talk about some of the tips and tricks when you are doing chat, basically how to reply and some of the very important common features that you will be using during the chat within Microsoft Teams. So say for example, this is the message that I have typed in. There are a couple of uh, spelling mistakes and I by mistake uh, send it. Now, how can I go ahead and after sending, you know, delete it or edit it, right? So if you go to the more option, so for example, you have sent this message and if you just hover over, you will see that there are uh, three ellipses, click on that and I can go ahead and edit this particular message, right? So I can simply click on edit and then you will see that I can go ahead and update all of these spelling mistakes that are there, right? So I can change uh, or wherever the spelling mistakes were, I can go ahead and change it or fix it and then click on this little tick box here, okay? And then simply click on tick box and the message will be basically updated and you will see that edited will be available here that this message was in Initially sent and somebody or basically whosoever has sent it has edited this particular message okay now if say for example somebody sent you a message and you want to reply to that particular message right so how you can go ahead and reply or say for example the same message I want to reply I will simply click on the ellipses here and click on the reply here so a specific if somebody is asking a specific question and there are a couple of messages one after the other and you want to reply to a particular message simply hover over that particular message and click on reply and then you will see that that particular message will be appearing and you will be replying on top of it right so I can say sure okay and then hit enter and the reply will go back with that particular message that you are replying for that particular message right so these are some of the key tips for the chat now the next thing is if you go to the ellipses again so we have seen the edit and reply if you want to delete the message completely right so simply hover over and click on delete if you want to pin this particular message on the top right so for example I want to pin this message on the top of the chat so I can click on the ellipses and click on the pin here and then you will see that the message whichever has been pinned will be appearing at the top okay so if you want to unpin it simply in the right hand side click on the ellipses and click on unpin and it will be unpinned if you want to view where this particular message is in the chat click on view on chat view in chat and that will be highlighted here so pretty much you know very common and similar to what um, most of you would be using you know, whatsapp anyways but this is this is a general common functionality around any of the chat applications right but apart from that teams provide a lot more than that so basically you know we can go ahead and pin and unpin uh, similarly I can save this message okay so for example I want to save it so let me quickly go ahead and save it so I have clicked on the ellipses and clicked on save this message okay now the message will get saved and where exactly you want you can see that this particular message has been saved you need to go to your profile here okay and then click on saved icon here okay and then it will open all the saved messages that you have saved now this is very very important feature because say for example there are key information there is key information within the chat when you are doing chat and that information you want to save and see or refer it later because chats keep going on and there is a lot of information that flows around within the chat so how can I tag the key information or save the key information from the chat as and when I'm going I'm chatting so that I can see everything here so so that is how you are going to save it so simply click on the ellipses for the message that you want to save and then click on save this message and it will be appearing in your saved message when you go to the profile and click on save it will show you all the saved chat messages here okay now let's see what uh, all other options are there now we have seen about the save this message you can mark a message as unread so for example you have read it but you want to mark it as unread so that you can come back later and see that this is something which you need to work on or get reminded of right so you can mark the message as unread or you can share to outlook right so I want to if there is a key information in the chat history you want to share in the outlook or in the email you can click on share to outlook and it will open the email prompt and you can share that conversation over the email okay so all of that conversation will be shared over the email that you want to share over the email okay so let me close this and then 
then other options are the translate you can you know go ahead and uh, try the translate feature which is which won't be required uh, too much of the time but yes if, if people are communicating in different languages you can go ahead and translate you can go to immersive reader and if you go to more actions then you can create a task or work item and then create you know different apps that are available there or you can create a new action right so if i click on create a new action then you can basically create a new action which is through the power automate um, that you can utilize right but this is a separate topic altogether um, but these are the features that are available that you will be you know mostly using uh, apart from most more actions i think more actions you will be using maybe for creating a task for this or creating a work item but apart from that um, the the, the top features are the most important one that you'll be using now up along with this say for example you want to react you want to put any of these you know um, uh, emojis uh, you want to just give a thumbs up simply hover over that particular message and click on thumbs up okay and you'll see thumbs up will be appearing here you want to get more emojis or more reactions click on this more option here and this particular list will show you the complete list of reactions that are available you can basically search for the reactions as well if i say for example i want to search for the dollar okay you'll see the dollar appears here and i can simply if i'm talking something about the dollar value or or something then i can you know simply click on the dollar and you will see that it has appeared here okay so these are some of the key important things around the chat that you can use which are really helpful when you are doing a chat within microsoft teams so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching